Welcome to a sold-out Hard Schlock Stadium, home of the Diami Kraken. You know they're named after a monster sea creature, so the fans are called Finns. That's because they're trying to keep the team afloat, Grim. The teams are juiced up and ready for blood as they take the field for MFL action. The Atlanta Vultures take on the Diami Kraken. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. One, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Chance for a big game. But still not enough for a first. Even I'm frustrated, and I'm a team agnostic. Third and four. Hey. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Eight. Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. for the first down. First down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Hot, hot one, hot two. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Actually, he does have some turkeys getting wrapped on his backside from that bad burn he had last year. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception.
Second down and six. For a first down to keep the drive alive. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. I'll say this, the offense is putting together a hell of a drive here. First down and three. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second and three. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Third down and long. Hot one, hot two, hot. That run is good for nine yards. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. <laughs> nice catch, and he turns on the... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's...
It's first and ten. Hey, like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now it looks like extra crispy. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. running like a moose right now. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. You can put a pitchfork in this guy because he's done. And now the ground screw is going to use a pitchfork to... And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot eight. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. Second down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two. Cannonball, first down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Hey kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. Your point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. That, my friends, was an all pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. a huge run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs, Rex, why don't you put a cork in that gravy maker of yours, huh? Hey, I'm dying up here. Oh, nicely done for a first down. 
Hey, yeah, uh, Bricks, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. Third down and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Third down and never gonna happen. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the chart. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they could pee for me, too. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now, and he's going to try and score. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wolf socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel. He got blown across the room into the deer antlers. Second down and ten. and he picks up a new set of downs. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Great Man with a ball and didn't fall out. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Second down and the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense, we know this quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. <laughs> Third down and the QB is... Well, that's two timeouts burned. And you have to wonder, Bricks, are they desperate or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe up. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. 
What the hell was that? It's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so confused. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaur. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their locker. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Picking up seven. Second and three. Third down and six. works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. What is this, Annie's wrestling? And it's first and ten. Hey. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. for a first down. And it's first and ten. First down! And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Gotta keep them guessing. And it's first and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown!
Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. Now it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a dud. Third down and ten. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. And Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The blue toy dirty trick is always good for an easy kill. Oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And Briggs, they... Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! Third down and three. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The cornerback can't dump it. And now they're going to dump his ass. <laughs> Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He turned into a mutant fireball. 
with that flame up. And the defense called the Thundercut dirty trick. Man, that's gonna hurt. Gonna make the hair in your corpse game straight up. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Snatched in midair by the worm. They said that the early one gets the mutant. And he got all of him. Oh, look, he's spitting the plates out. First and ten. Ouch! What is this? Andy's wrestling? That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. Second down and two. a lot of balls in the past, but I had the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. That's a two-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that'll be second and eight to go. Three on that play. Second down and seven. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, friend? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. It's a butterjorts turn. Second down in a lot. And there aren't many things better than a running back blasting through the defense for a big gain. That's a pizza. Yeah, I'm sure you got pizza. Uh, and burritos. Okay, you make a good point. Uh, oh, and pickles. Gotta have pickles. Man, 
that ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That and he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See, and if you don't understand why refs are hated even more than kickers, <laughs> well, there's your answer, Bricks. <laughs> Third down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Third down and forever. This offense is rolling. Mom, then that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. They are going for it, and the defense is licking their mutant lips. Some kid in his bed wearing nothing but underwear made a really stupid call right there, Bricks. First and ten. Roid Rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a Roid Rage with a vodka chaser. Make it snappy, will you, Shorty? Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. People like it. Your point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Uh, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I thought... That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brits' match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. with the brain scrambler. And, it's first, and they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And he just wrestles away. Oh, with the brutal hit. And it's first. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. Thank you that mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Mm. Oh, man, he really wants it. And that pass play is good for eight yards. Second, and that'll be their final timeout. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. You know, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. 
and that is unfortunate. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. Oh, with the punishing hit. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. I'm just happy to see anything after that laser pointer accident. I don't know which way you are. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20. He's at the 10. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It's good. Quick and Blues on their home turf. Is there anything that could be more disappointing to a Diami fan? Well, how about when you go to the beach and a 70 year old German guy with a pop belly bends over with a G string and shows you the whole caboose? They battled hard but didn't have enough to get it done. They should be ashamed of themselves. I know I am. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not heavy until you're not.